Hi there, my name is Tim Peterson. I'm with the Arizona Cardinals. I'm the sports turf manager here. What we have here are two trays of the actual sections that the new movable tray system is made of. We've added um, 10 pounds of an occlusion per ton of sand into this one. We're using a tiny three quarter inch fibrillated fiber and then it's a very tiny uh, thread-like pieces of elastic which stretch as the occlusion sand on this. We found that once the watering system was going through there we actually were perching water at about three inches and as the water naturally moved through there it actually drew in a lot more air into the sand because of its increased porosity by adding the fibers into it but the growth was was very unique and as you can see <laughs> I can't even <laughs> can't really break it apart because the root system is so thick in this thing and holding the sand so well the water is at a very minimal level and the moist uh, air, uh, sand is still you know the sand is still moist you still get kind of moisture that you want for ideal growing conditions but with an enriched uh, atmospheric exchange ability. That would give us the fastest uh, root system that we had. Our rhizomial group was about an inch and a half after uh, three months of growing time and um, this is a selected uh, grass and the drainage system to go at the Cardinals new facility uh, in the tray that uh, moves on wheels. During my testing procedures of our proposed uh, root zone mix and drainage systems for our new facility at the Arizona Cardinals. I found that there are two, maybe three really important things that the airfield brought to the table that were far over and above what uh, was available out there and other means of, of trying to get uh, the drainage system working. Number one, and the, the most important thing, and we all probably understand this one, is that Gravity acts on the water. That is the major driving force from the surface to the bottom. Gravity doesn't uh, really, I mean, so the water actually starts to move downward by gravity. And having your drainage directly underneath it, okay, allows the water to drain through. Behind it, it brings in the oxygen. If it doesn't have to take the time and the course of that water to move down through, to the bottom and go sideways, that means there's a faster reaction to getting down to the perch level. So the moist air, por uh, porous section of your soil gets to its uh, uh, condition very rapidly, therefore not giving a long interval or disrupting the natural growth process that goes in your air, uh, soil, water, perfect little pie. Uh, of your, your four to eight inches of surface. So that is one of the major things, is to get that water in the soil, but get it out of the root system where all the uh, actual transfer of nutrients and, uh, and small bits of moisture and oxygen feeding the roots for, for, the, uh, for uh, photosynthesis uh, and also enzyme reaction. Oxygen has to be there to make all these things compete. Now we're looking at construction of fields. And good possibility that with airfield underneath it, in the future, you know, we're going to be building fields uh, predominantly one foot high in the soil, uh, soil roots of mix. And as of today, we've been dealing with fields that are much deeper and very uh, diverse in its drainage systems. So this, you know, sand is 18 inches sometimes, maybe even 24 inches thick. Now we're dealing, or with the possibility of dealing with a system that's 12 inches thick. We have mechanical devices today that we can actually get down uh, to the greater portion of that 12 inches in fraction. We can hollow for it. We can. Uh, harvest those hollow cores. We can fracture the soil, bring in more oxygen if we're down, use smaller stuff, but we're dealing with a very small piece of earth that's now mechanically uh, 
reachable. Whereas in days past, we were dealing with four inch and eight inch pieces of equipment, maybe on a good day, 10 inch piece of equipment, but we still had another 10 to 12 inches of surface that we could not address. And as we all know, that stuff starts to get tighter and tighter and tighter and making the drainage system even more slow and more difficult to get water out on a constant basis. Naturally, there's these peaks and there's spikes where the rains a lot, but those should sheet out and go back to normal growth. But if your system won't allow that as it ages, it's because it slows down and everything slows down if you can't be down the fracture.